Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with the ASUS ETOP ET2002. This is an all-in-one desktop computer from ASUS that has an Intel Atom processor, very similar to the one that you would find in a netbook like the EPC-1000H I have here, but it has NVIDIA graphics, so it's got the NVIDIA ION logo here on the side, and what that means is it can handle uh, high-definition video playback and some video games and, and other things. Um, it has a very large screen. It's a 20-inch uh, display that's 1900 by 1600 pixels, I want to say. Let's see here. No, 1600 by 900 pixels. Sorry about that. Uh, but it's still very, very large, very uh, high resolution compared with what you'll find from most Intel Atom processors. Uh, based computers. And while it can handle uh, HD video playback because of the NVIDIA ION uh, processor, uh, graphics processor, the um, performance when it comes to basic computing tasks is um, actually in some ways not quite as much as you would expect from a general Intel Atom processor. Um, and that's because even though we have here an Atom 330 dual-core 1.6 GHz uh, processor. Um, it's, it's got to struggle a little bit harder to deal with pumping out graphics to a high-resolution display when it's relying primarily on the CPU. And so uh, to demonstrate that, I'm just taking a look through who, uh, here Google Reader. It's uh, something I spent a lot of time in as a blogger, reading uh, updates from many, many different news sources. And what you'll notice is I don't know if you can see. As I click, it should scroll from one news item to the next news item. And it sort of struggles to keep up with the clicks at a certain point. This is something that a faster computer, it's almost instantaneous. It just sort of moves from one to the next. But using this processor, a bunch of clicks, you sort of get backlogged. So it's not necessarily going to be a you know, high-performance machine in every task, but when it does come to video, it does do a couple of things very nicely. For example, I downloaded this high-definition video from the um, Windows HD Media Showcase, and when we open it in Windows Media Player, this is a 1080p video. This is something that no typical network would, be, network would be able to handle. Places where, until recently, we believed nothing could survive. And as you can see, the uh, the video playback is very smooth. Um, you know, there might be a couple of minor skip frames or something, but you've got a 1080p high definition video here playing in full screen mode, and uh, the quality is pretty good. The speakers are also pretty nice. I mean, the the microphone on this camera that I'm using isn't great, but we call the tiny organisms living in such inhospitable places extremophiles. But you should be able to hear that these speakers that are across the bottom of the unit are uh, are pretty respectable as far as computers go. Uh, built-in computer speakers. Turn out to be ideal homes for these hardy life forms. Their scientific potential appears vast. Now this computer should be able to handle uh, Blu-ray playback, but it does not have a Blu-ray drive. Instead, it has a uh, DVD drive here in the side. It sort of pops out, and as you can see I've got a uh, Seinfeld DVD in there, so I'll show you how that works in a second when the menu pops up. So let's go ahead and open that in Windows Media Center. Now when Windows Media Center does open, you'll notice it almost looks like it's sort of begging to be touched. It's, uh, it's an interface for Windows computers that's me meant to be used from sitting a little bit farther back. And, um... Sigmund, look at the And you sort of almost want to, instead of using the keyboard and mouse to navigate, go back and forth like that, but it's not really, it's not a touch screen, even though earlier ETOP computers had touch screen displays, this one does not. Video playback is uh, pretty high quality here for a DVD, um, keeping in mind that the screen is much higher resolution than the DVD, but it looks pretty good.
You got a cucumber? Yeah. So what? You're bringing in an outside cucumber? <laughs> cucumber in the salad. I need cucumber. What if I... So uh, the software works pretty well. The video playback is great for DVDs for high definition video. There's a little bit of extra software in here. Asus includes this dock, which is similar to what they've been including on um, a number of their netbooks, which has uh, some software that actually doesn't make any sense. There's no touchscreen display, for example, but there's a p application for handwriting recognition. Um, not really that useful, but uh, it seems to sort of be the standard software that they've been including on a lot of their machines. Um, there's this eManager, which gives you access to a lot of the different ASUS ePC and eTop uh, software from one place. You can adjust the uh, processor performance. You get high performance, super performance, and power saving. Um, might not matter as much on a desktop computer as it does on a laptop where you have to worry about battery life. There is no battery here. And uh, there's a webcam. So that's what I look like. Uh, video is actually very smooth. It uh, seems to be a higher quality webcam than um, many of the other netbook webcams that I've used. So that's interesting. And I'll have to give that a more thorough test later. Uh, comes with Skype installed a memo application which doesn't want to pop up right now uh, Internet Explorer, I installed Firefox myself so there's the memo application and as you can see it does take a little while to launch some of these applications um, if you don't like the this dock up at the top you can minimize it or just make it go away so it's not something that you have to use uh, the same for this handwriting stuff. Well, actually, I'm trying to make it go away. Tools, exit, and that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, the preloaded software that you get. Otherwise, it uh, you know comes with NVIDIA drivers, some NVIDIA uh, software it looks like, and uh, Windows Vista, Home Premium, Microsoft Office, uh, PowerPoint Viewer, and um, that's about it. The uh, the other thing that's worth pointing out is that it does uh, qualify for the Windows 7 upgrade program, which is something that a lot of netbooks and other EPC computers with Intel Atom processors don't. Um, if you buy this between June 26th and January 31st uh, with Windows Vista installed, you can uh, you can qualify for a free upgrade to uh, Windows 7. So that's a nice feature. Um, also wanted to point out that it does come with wireless uh, keyboard and mouse. And they, uh, they work pretty well. The only reason I'm using a mouse pad here is because I'm using a glass table. and um, It does work, but it works better if it has a darker surface. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a first look at the ASUS ETOP ET2002.